Sorry, the Parliamentary Panel on Energy has blamed the Reserve Bank's revised resolution framework for the surge in stressed assets in the power sector. In fact, the panel has observed that even operational and functional power sector units are on the verge of becoming non-performing assets due to knee-jerk action of the RBI. Rituparna Boyan joins us with the details. Ritu, take us through this uh, scathing Parliamentary Panel report. Scathing comments by the Parliamentary Panel on Energy regarding RBI's uh, uh, revised framework uh, on resolution of uh, stressed assets. Uh, one of the points that the panel made uh, was that it is rather impossible to have a sustainable and workable resolution plan within 180 days. Uh, uh, according to the discussions that it had with power companies and banks, uh, one needs at least 231 days uh, for uh, uh, for a resolution plan uh, to, uh, to be formulated uh, and completed. Uh, in addition to that, it also makes a broader po a point. That is, uh, you know, every sector has its own reasons uh, for projects becoming NPAs, and hence uh, RBI should take that into cognizance and have different, uh, you know, NPA resolution plans for different sectors. Uh, 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 and hence, uh, as far as these uh, 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 resolution uh, plans for uh, revised revise plans for the power sector are, are concerned, the panel has said that uh, you know, RBI should amend the guidelines to make them amenable in an unbiased manner, uh, so that the problem of uh, of NPAs in the power sector that is you know addressed adequately. It remains to be seen if uh, if RBI you know uh, indeed uh, takes many of the suggestions made by the parliamentary panel uh, uh, you know, and and take and and, take, and accepts them and and has and revises uh, the guidelines as has said by this panel. <coughs> With that, it's back to you.